the um, exam published a few minutes ago on the website, uh, the State um, Examination Commission's website, but interestingly it's disappeared and uh, all I can find is the Irish version. So uh, might need a bit of help with Google Translate. Let's let's see how we can do. See this over. Question one. Okay, and then uh, a B part here. underneath there and then finally a C part which is for P and R. Oops. at the bottom give myself some space all right let, let's have a look um so i'm guessing here this is just simply solve for m well there's a few ways to do it but by far the easiest way is just to say 5 plus 3m equals plus or minus 11 so 3m would equal minus 5 um just taking the 5 to either side plus or minus 11 so 3m equals minus 16 if you take the minus answer first minus 5 minus 11 or if you take the plus answer it'll be 6 11 minus 5 so dividing by 3 you get minus 16 over 3 or 6 over 3 which is 2 so hopefully i'm not too tired from a long day of work to, to not get this right um right k in terms of h and j i guess um okay so we'll have to cross multiply j plus k bring the j plus k up to the left times the one and bring the h up to the right that's h k so one times j plus k is one j plus one k and then h k and remember we're looking for the k so i'll take the k to the right h k minus k I'll take the k out, k, h minus 1, and uh, I'll just divide. k equals j over h minus 1. Looks okay. Right, let's see. Uh, I guess it's saying that this is a factor of this. p and r are real. p is negative. Um, find P and R. Better Google translate this one. Yeah, yeah, this, this, as I thought. Okay. All right, let's have a think about this. What would be the easiest way to do it? Um, since it's a factor, we can divide it in. It should get a remainder of zero. So x squared minus px plus 1 divided into x cubed plus 0x squared minus 2x minus 3r. So first we need an x. So I'll be x cubed minus px squared plus x. And I subtract here. And that would be px squared minus 2x minus x is minus 3x and I carry that down minus 3r so this has to be a p and this has to be the last one so that's p x squared minus p squared x plus p let's be very careful here p times x squared is px squared, p times minus px is minus p squared x, and p times 1 is p, and then I subtract and they cancel. 
Well, for this to cancel, we need p squared to equal 3 and minus 3r to equal p. Now, we're told that p is negative, so that means p has to equal minus root 3. So that would mean that you would get uh, minus 3r equals minus root 3. So that means r would equal root 3 over 3. So it looks like p is minus root 3 and r is root 3 over 3. Okay, hopefully that's correct. Um, maybe I'll just leave the video there for a few minutes just for people to check that I haven't made any mistakes, like I said. It's, um, it's half eight. It's a bit of a long day to be starting an exam.